Os. Konnichiwa, minasan. My name is John Oshita, and I am at the current taping of this video, a sixth dan in Ishinru Karate. And if you're interested in learning Ishinru Karate, please check out my Udemy course at uh, udemy.com. You can type in the search of Dissect the Dissection of Ishinru Karate, or you could just simply type Ishinru Karate. And I think you can even search John Oshta. I think that'll even bring you to my uh, courses. So there's uh, a couple of ways you can search it, but please go to udemy.com and you will find me there. All right, so what I wanted to talk to you about and discuss and maybe, as we say, dissect a little closer uh, in this video is a technique from Kusanku Kata. Those of you that know Kusanku Kata will immediately recognize this technique. And those that don't may be scratching their heads wondering what could it be possibly used for. And to be honest, most of us think the same thing when we first learn this technique. All right, so this technique is very old. It has a name. Um, uh, I've heard it called Kanibarai. I've heard it called the funny kick. I've heard it called a crescent kick. Um, but let's take a look at it and see what we think. Now, those of you that know the technique know that we also switch to the other side to do that. But I'm not going to look at that part of the, uh, the technique in this video. We're just going to look at the per first section of this video. Now, uh, I'm sorry, the first section of that technique in this video. Now, um, what I like about this technique is that once you really learn it, you find that you don't have to put a lot of work in to make it work. All right. So if you notice. The first thing that we do in this technique, and this is taken from the kata of ku sang ku, is that the left hand is shot down towards the groin with a fist. And then the right leg is swung around, and then the left is kicked out. And all of this is done in the air. And then you land flat on, as a cat, on all fours, as they say. All right. Now, if I could have my partner in, and we're going to look at this. My partner or your opponent may be doing, we're not going to really discuss too much about what the opponent is doing, because all kinds of things can be done. But whatever has happened, it has allowed me to find my target with my left hand. And so that target is the groin, and that is what the kata teaches me. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to strike that groin. Now notice that you have control of the opponent's left arm momentarily. The technique teaches us to swing our right leg over the opponent's back and down. Now, obviously, class, if you're doing this, you must do this slowly with your partner. Now, if you notice, my partner can roll out of this, if he would. There is an escape here, all right? And we cannot have that. But the kata addresses that problem. If we can watch me again do this technique, so I'm going to get some room here. I'm going to show him. Um, um, the technique in the air right quick. So if you'll watch again, I want you to notice a, a crucial detail of this technique. And that is we drop from mid-air onto the ground. And that drop is crucial because We want to use gravity to take out the opponent's shoulder, all right? So not necessarily work or effort, but gravity. Now, notice that I am not going to do that to my partner, but you can imagine the, the um, damage that it would do to the shoulder, and that it meaning the drop. Thank you, sir. 
Um, that is crucial because you see if you don't do that, the opponent has the ability to roll out, right? So when you're watching Kusanku, those of you who do it and know the kata, and you see this beautiful movement, and it is for those that can do it, they get up high and they drop. I want you to hopefully, after seeing this video, not only see how the technique and the, the, your leg and your, the appendages of, your, of, the, of the technique is being used, but also how important the drop itself is being used, all right? Because without that, uh, your opponent can definitely escape, all right? Hey, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember me on udemy.com if you'd like to learn more, all right? Thank you. Take care. Domo, arigato gozaimashita.